Hello everyone, it's Nashi, the conservative gamer again. <clears throat> We're back at it, farming some leather. Today's leather we'll be farming is medium leather. Now it's not much higher than light leather, in fact it's the next one on the list. So it's funny to open up this video farming in the same place that you farmed light leather. Now if you're just power leveling your skinning, <clears throat> this is probably one of the best places to do it. To get some low level leathers for your classic skinning. I, I want to show you that this is a great spot for, for medium leather. Once you get your light leather up, this is a great spot for both light leather and medium leather if you're trying to farm both. But I will show you some other places that have really good medium leather farming on both Horde and Alliance. So let's get to it. All right, we've entered our second place for medium leather. We got here, we're at the... Right north of the Gurbash Arena, this whole area is filled with beasts. One of the main things you can start with are the Basilisks. Now these are really easy to farm. They give you medium leather uh, almost 100% of the time as long as you're high enough level. Now the best ones to use uh, to farm this would be probably a Druid because of the instant flight form, but there is this section. There may be other people that uh, farm these as well. So, you know, you might want to deal with that. But basically, all these basilisks give you medium leather, and then when you fly around here, there are lots of hidden beasts. Now, obviously, it's easier if you're higher level because you can fly low to the ground and see them. See, there's another one. Uh, there are tigers around here. All of these will help give you the leather you need. Also, there is another spot of basilisks that's a little bit easier that generally there are a lot less people farming. And it's over here by this cave. Uh... Right in here. Yes. Okay. So there are a lot of basilisks out here on the outside of the cave as well. And so basically, you can farm all these. Then, um, you can go into the cave. Now, obviously, more mobile are, are, are better. Uh, you can use things like bear tartar will help you. Uh, but then you go into this cave, and, he, you know, the cave is generally, uh, it's like the same thing. And there are just a bunch of basilisks. You go around, do your little rotation, and then come back out. And you'll be all the better off. Now there's also one uh, or two more other spots that are really good. Oh, there's an orc rogue with uh, double thunder fury. <laughs> but there are two more spots that I will show you. Uh, one is more for horde, and then one is for both. Uh, there's one in southern barrens where it's Mainly, if you're a monk or a ranged class, it is one of the best spots, and I will show you where that is for medium leather. Okay, we are here, guys. This is the Kalimdor spot in Southern Barrens, right below Hunter's Hill Flight Point. These raptors, when you kill enough of them, actually are instant respawns. So basically, once you kill... A certain amount of the raptors what they'll do is they'll automatically respawn now the, the reason I said this was better for ranged people is because obviously they're instant respawn so is once you kill them all they start to respawn uh, so you can just stay around the middle for a bit kill a bunch of them now these raptors also once you get to a high enough level of classic skinning will also start giving you a little bit of heavy leather because they're right on the edge. Now the last spot that's really good for medium leather, uh, especially for Horde, is in Stone Town. And it's right over here. We're gonna fly over there real fast. And these are, this is good for any uh, class that has a really good AoE because basically there are a bunch of whelps that are in kind of together. As you can see, the first couple leathers, light leather and medium leather, are pretty easy to farm. And once you get the heavy leather, it's almost better to go in the dungeon to do it because you just get so much leather at once and it's long enough. And it's not a bad dungeon to farm all the way through, especially if you want to farm for a couple really expensive BOE items that are worth a lot of gold. And when I say a lot of gold, I mean millions. And the one of them is the Fez and it's, it, I mean, the last time I saw it, I don't even know if it drops anymore. That's how rare it is, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's so rare, it's crazy. 
those are ones you post on the forums. Hey, I'm selling this. <laughs> people will tr tr people will transfer servers to buy that. Like that's how that's the kind of rarity this item is. So right over here, as you can see in this charred area here, I think it's called the charred veil. There'll be groups of uh, I think two or three whelplings at a time, and that's kind of what makes this one of my favorite. This is my personal favorite. If you're just farming specifics. Uh, as well as the spot in wetland if you're not looking for medium leather by itself But if you're actually trying to farm medium leather, this is my favorite spot you have the, like for instance You have these three black whelplings. They're always they're always gonna be in groups of three I guess I thought it was two, but I guess they're all three and these are some of the best spots to farm now I wonder let's test it right now Thinking about it. looks like it will work and it does. Okay, so you can still use the mother skinning knife from the old quests in um, in Legion for the skinning. And that obviously makes this go by super faster because you don't need to be next to it. Uh, let's see here. It says, skin creatures from 40 yards away. So you skin the closest one, skin the one that's also close, and then get the long one automatically. Down. Now I hope these videos are really helpful for you. Uh, I know, you know, these are easy mats to look for, but sometimes it's been so long since we've really farmed some of these mats. And for new players looking to where to farm these mats, it's changed a few times. So I just hope these videos help you guys out. As you can see, look at all these openings. See, this is, this is, this spot is great. Especially if you have an AoE spell or a quick ranged is also fantastic. I just hope these help you out. If you can think of any other spots that really help, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, the funniest joke in all the comments I'll be selecting in a couple months from now, if you're still playing WoW, after BFA a little bit, we'll be giving away a few tokens. So definitely comment down below. And I want to thank you guys personally for watching Nashi the sort of gamer. You can check me out on my stream at twitch.tv slash Nashi when I'm streaming. Uh, we'll probably be farming or doing something, you know, fun. And when Classic comes out, we're going to make a big, huge Classic Guild and just have a lot of fun competitions and things like that. You guys have a good one. We will see you later. Peace.